Hello guys, <coughs> welcome back once again. In this video, we are going to get started with C++ inside of Visual Studio 2026. So whether you are new to programming or switching from another language, Visual Studio makes it super easy to set up and build your first C++ project. But before we dive in, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Well, let's get straight into it. So as you can see, I've got Visual Studio 2026 open. Yeah, to get us started, let's open our Visual Studio installer and make sure you've got all the necessary uh, components installed. So let's go ahead, open your Visual Studio installer under the um, Visual Studio 2026. Yeah, um, click on modify. So once you once you click on modify, yeah, you'll be taken to this page. I mean, the page on the screen right now. So if we scroll down, yeah, we, we've got um, desktop development with C++. So this will actually help you build C++ application for Windows using tools of your choice, including MSVC, CLang, CMake, or um, MS Build and whatnot, okay? But if you also want to build a, a mobile application using C++, then you can check on this box as well. But this will also help you build a cross-platform application for iOS, Android, or Windows using C++, okay? So depending on what you want to achieve, uh, you can select whatever workload that is suitable for whatever you're trying to do, okay? So for this video's sake here, we're going to concentrate on um, the desktop development with C++, okay? So make sure you check on this box, and then, uh, download or install while downloading so you can click here I mean and then you can download and install it so once we are actually done with this bit here we can go ahead and open our Visual Studio so once we open our Visual Studio let's go ahead and click on create a new project so this is our new project dialog here so here we can select bunch of C++ um, project templates to get started with. On the All Languages side here, let's scroll down and select um, C++ as our language. So let's leave the platforms as all platforms and all project types, okay? So here, obviously, you can select uh, whatever C++ project templates that is suitable to whatever you want to do. Yes, so you can get started with with, a, with an empty C++ project, you can create your first console app, you can create a CMake project, which we will look further in the coming, in, a, in my upcoming videos. You can also create a, um, a Windows desktop application using the desktop, um, using the wizard. You can also create a whole lot of stuff here, a whole bunch of stuff, okay? As you can see here, uh, you can also make, um, uh, Android Android project you can use build your create an Android application with C++ so as you can see here now there are a bunch of stuff that we can do so for this video sake here yeah, let's start let's create something with a Windows desktop application okay so let's select Windows desktop application click on next here obviously you can configure your project details and you can select where you want your solution to be. You can change the name of the solution and whatnot. Yeah. So once you set, once you configure this part here, yeah, then you click on the create. This will actually create a, a new project for us. So as we can see here now, we've got a very simple project created for us. Yeah. First, continue. Let's go ahead and run it to see what actually comes out of it. But you can run it by clicking on F5 or clicking on this green button here, local window debugger. You can also use other, other avenues to actually debug this. You can use a remote windows debugger. You can use a web browser debugger and whatnot. I'm going to leave it as it is and then click on run. So now we, we've got a, this is what we have. Yeah, so as you can see here, there's nothing inside, but obviously, this is our desktop, Windows desktop application. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and make a very simple update to this, just to show, I mean, what we can do, obviously. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to open our, our copilot. We're going to use copilot to design something very simple for us. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, write this prompt treat simple analog analog clock in so we use the hashtag <coughs> hashtag uh, okay I'm just gonna say in this project So let's see what happens. So if I stay in this project, obviously the active document is the current project. Okay. So this is what is going on. So, so to create a sample analog, a simple analog clock in Windows application, I will add drawing. So this is basically telling you what it's going to do. So we're gonna wait for the whole thing. So as you can see, we have the Windows Project 2.cpp being updated. So this is the file that is being updated. So we're just going to have, we're just going to wait for the whole things to complete. So we have um, got the changes made. So to keep the changes, you can you can you can click keep here or you can click keep here. Doesn't really matter. So let's go ahead and keep it and have a look at what's inside or what has been updated. So basically, we've got a bunch of files that has been added uh, to create our analog clock. Okay. So we've got a bunch of you know time elements. So as I'm scrolling down, if you if you want to um, type it, you can you can you can pause it whenever you want and type it. Okay. But obviously. You can also use the, the co-pilot to do the same thing. You you actually produce pretty much the same, I mean the same code and the, I mean the same display if you type in the same um, um prompt. Okay. So let's run it to see if we if we've got an analog clock created for us. So as you can see here now, we've got a very uh, simple analog clock created in a C++ desktop application. Yeah, using um, also using uh, making use of the Copilot AI assistant. Okay, so as you can see here, it's not very difficult to get yourself started in terms of creating your first C++ application in Visual Studio 2026. Not to complicate you too much here. Yeah? I'll leave this video here for now, and on um, on my upcoming videos, yeah, I'll make a follow up. Videos in terms of creating a, a application, other applications using C++, like um, C++ for development and whatnot. So, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do. As you know, I've got lots of videos coming up. Hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.